Hey guys, Jeff Disher here, real estate broker with the Disher Group at Douglas Elliman here in San Diego, California. And uh, today I want to talk about the difference between uh, an HOA, paying an HOA in an attached condo or townhouse versus a single family home. Um, a lot of people that I talk to, they do not want to pay an HOA. They say, you know what, I want a single family home. I hate HOAs, I don't want to pay them. And they think that by paying an HOA, they're not going to have those same type of fees when buying a single family home. So today I want to go over some of the fees that, uh, that you will be paying by buying a single family home that are actually included in the HOA. Um, the first one I will start off with would be insurance. So exterior insurance of a home. Um, you're gonna need it for a condo as well, but it's included in the HOA. So if the place burns down or there's a hurricane, no, we won't have here, but a earthquake, something like that, the exterior, the whole building needs to be replaced and rebuilt. And so whether you're buying a condo or a house, you're gonna need both of them rebuilt in that instant. So with the HOA, it's actually included in that payment. So you would actually have it covered by paying the HOA, a portion of that payment goes towards insurance. If you own a house, you'll be paying that separately anyway. So that's gonna be a fee out of pocket that you'll be paying. Um, another one would be um, trash. So when you pay HOA, again, part of that's going towards the trash. When you own a single family home, you'll be paying that out of pocket separate. Uh, one more thing that I would bring up, and this is a pretty big one, would be your water. So HOA, again, 90% of the HOAs do cover water. And that's something that some of that fee is allocated towards. And again, when you have a single family home, you will be paying your water separately, okay? Um, and that fee can get expensive depending on how much water you use. Typically in a condo, it's all put together, so you just pay that small portion of your HOA, and the HOA takes care of that for you. Last but not least would be maintenance, exterior maintenance, roof maintenance, landscaping, gardening, the HOA covers that as well. So I love it because I live in a condo and I know that if I leave for a month and I come home, the exterior of my building is gonna be perfect. It's gonna be just the way I left it versus if you have a house, you're paying a gardener, you're paying people to come water, whatever it may be, you're paying for that. So if you leave on vacation, you gotta make sure that someone's coming and taking care of your house. If not, when you get home after a month vacation, you're gonna have overgrown weeds, possible broken water pipes, uh, maybe a, a leak in the roof, but that will, be on you. That'll fall on you. It'll be costs that you will accrue while leaving. So those are some of the reasons. And again, it could be a lot more for a house, for a single family house. Those fees could be a lot more than you're paying for an HOA. So if you're, if that's one of the reasons you want a house, single family home versus a, a condo or a townhome or something that's connected, I would talk to your realtor about that. You know, I would really sit down and, and, and itemize those fees that would come with a single family home versus a, a, a condo or attached property. So um, I think it's eye-opening and, and every time I've explained that to my clients, they have an aha moment and they start to reconsider uh, the convenience of paying that HOA and how they could actually be saving money by paying the HOA versus paying for all those itemized fees separately by owning a house. So hopefully this information helped. Um, if you have any questions, you know where to reach me and I hope that you follow me on all my social media, including YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Jeff Disher or I Sell Real Estate. Look to see you guys soon. Till next time, take it easy.